you do go day by day and think about what it all means. Today has not been a great day in polling in general for the Democrats. Not a horrible day, not anything that would move you off the notion that this is still either race to win or lose and that either one could win big. But let's look at a few polls. First, a uh, national poll from CNN uh, or Quinnipiac. Put up whichever one you want. All right, there's a CNN poll. Thank you. So tied nationally. Uh, again, individual polls. Who cares about national polls? But it does. it is part of a pattern today. And some of the other national polls, not all of them, because some have shown her with a big lead. But obviously, if Harris is going to be tied with Trump in a national poll, that's not great news for the Democrats because of the way the Electoral College interacts with the national horse race. So let's look. So that's 47-47. Let's look at the Quinnipiac poll. Also came out today. Again, another tie. Not great. Now, as I said, economy, economic sentiment improving. Gallup put out a bunch of stuff today that Democrats I've talked to are mostly slopping off. But they looked at a bunch of measurements that they say are significant, some strongly correlating with past presidential results, some less so. But almost all of these tilt towards the Republican point of view. So party identification with leaners, 48, 45 for Republicans. If you look at the historical trend, that's very Republican. And it suggests a favor to the Republicans, if that's where the uh, favors Republicans. Party better able to handle the problem most important to you. Again, five-point Republican lead. Very good for Republicans. Next. Economic satisfaction, very low, favors Republicans. Economic confidence, low, favors Republicans. Party better able to help keep America prosperous. Six-point edge for Republicans. Presidential job approval, Biden low, favors Republicans. Party favorable ratings, neither. Okay, take that down. What's significant about this data is, Gallup says, bad for Republicans, but it's about Republicans. It's not about Trump. And we know that if Trump were not the nominee and some other generic Republican were there, they may well, depending on who it was, but potentially, they would have a much better chance of winning than Trump does. In other words, all that data that Gallup says helped favors Republicans may, may be mitigated by the fact that Trump is a drag on behalf of some for in the minds of some voters.